Welcome to the Carolina Beat, everyone. Atlantic Neurosurgical and Spine Specialist Dr. George Hoffman is in the studio yet again. And today we're talking all about spinal cord stimulation. Welcome back to the show, my friend. Thank you. Okay, last time you were here, we were talking about spinal cord fusion. Now this time we're talking about stimulation. What is spinal cord stimulation? So spinal cord stimulation is a technique device uh, that we use for patients who have severe chronic pain that have failed other measures. So they've either tried all the different conservative routes such as injections, therapy, manipulation, uh, drugs, surgery, spinal fusions. And what we've talked about before. Exactly. If they failed that, then this is sort of a last resort for them. Describe the pain that they would be feeling before this surgery. Like when you say chronic pain, people at home are thinking, well, let me know what that means because I have pain. Right. Do I need this procedure? So chronic pain is, is pain that, that someone has more than six months and right. that it is, it is not changed by any other therapies. So the drugs don't help them, the mm. injections don't help them, the surgery hasn't helped and they're still experiencing pain in their back or legs yes. and that just won't go away. Okay, well let's, I think it's really important to understand the process of the stimulator and how that procedure is done. So the patient would be seeing either their spine professional or their pain specialist and if they had tried all these other methods then the pain specialist would typically do what's called a spinal cord stimulator trial. They would insert a wire up along the spinal cord, send the patient home for about a week, and see if the patient's pain improves. It's sort of like a test drive. Okay. If that test drive works, they'll remove it, send, send them to me to put in a permanent spinal cord stimulator. What is the stimulator doing? So the stimulator is trying to uh, confuse the pain nerves and sort of make the brain not think that the chronic pain is there. The pain is still there, it doesn't do anything to solve the pain, it just interrupts the signals. I, I call it a pacemaker for the nerves. Right. And so it, it, it helps confuse and, and sort of mess up that pathway so that the brain doesn't think there's a lot of chronic pain going on. Okay, so is it, is it safe to say that it's 50% cure of pain free, 80%? Where do you sit on the rectus scale then? That's a great question. Everybody's different. So, okay. you know, the, the, we won't implant it unless the patient gets at least 50% pain relief. But I have patients come in all the time who say it's like a miracle. You know, they, the stimulator comes on and their pain goes away. Wow. What I don't want people to think is this is not, it's not an on-off switch for pain. It, that's not going to cure acute pain that where you hurt yourself, you scrape your knee or something like that. This is for the pain that is those damaged nerves that haven't gotten better with any other treatment. And it's constant. I would imagine it's also a way to get off painkillers. It is, then that's one of the reasons why we do it. All right, I'm sure everyone's sitting at home who maybe be thinking this could be their next best solution. They're probably saying, I probably can't afford this. Is this covered yes, by insurance? Yes, most insurances do cover this. And really? so it's, it's an excellent opportunity for patients to, who've tried everything else. I think this is, can be the last resort for those patients. Does your office help walk through with the insurance company about those sorts of things as well? Absolutely. It just takes it all away. That's enough pain in itself, dealing with all of that. What do people experience after the operation? Do I say it's an operation? Because it's about yes. an hour, right? Yes. The surgery takes about an hour. We implant a, an electrode, yes. do it through a small surgery called a laminotomy. And then we run the wire under the skin and put the generator, which looks like a pacemaker generator, either in your spare tire area or in your buttocks. After the surgery, some of the stimulators have a tingling feeling, so right. they feel a tingling in their back and the legs. Other stimulators are what we call um, sub-threshold, meaning you don't feel anything, but they're still working. Well, we appreciate you. We could sit here all day. We want you to come back and talk more about it. Thank we appreciate you, you, Doctor. If you want to find out more information about Atlantic Neurosurgical and Spine Specialists, there it all is up on the screen for you. Back after this short break.